Hi Pisces Collective, it's Beth. Coming to do an energy check-in for you today. I hope you're wonderful today. I'm gonna pull an animal card first. Let's see what animal you're working with right now. The spider. Spiders are found throughout the world and appear in the legends of nearly all people. They are frequently depicted as helpers, protectors, and creators. The Ojibwa people hang hoops of spider webs over their infants to protect them from harmful influences. Other Native American peoples, particularly those of Southwest, associate, associate the spider with a grandmother spirit who lives underground. The spider grandmother is a source of wisdom and a link to the underworld. She rises from her realm to offer advice, particularly before a dangerous or large undertaking. The spider woman in this painting, oh, I won't go into that. Symbology, protection, aid, and wisdom. That's cool. All right. The spider reminds me too of like, um, shaping your destiny. Um, with the spider web it's like the way the way it's shaped if you want if you want you can cut out certain pathways you just like snip one little portion and it's gone and you still can like move over and go up a whole another strand whole another like shoot up another way anyways um let me get some of these what are these called again the Mystic Shaman Oracle. They're super pretty. Okay. Number 52, stand still. Number 44, sacrifice. Number 35, the medicine wheel. Number 26, the hummingbird. And number 58, the tree of life. So I was only going to pull a few of these, but a bunch jumped out. So we'll go with it. So number 52 stands still. That breaks down to a 7. Transformation. All right, Pisces, let's see. When standstill appears, it is a symbol of pausing, the action of observation and breathing space. It represents the benefit of temporary non-action, as well as what happens when one is stuck. When things seem to stall or stagnate, or when you feel stuck, this symbol appears as a reminder that constant action isn't going to get you where you want to go. Perhaps it's time to gather more information or just wait until the universe makes the next move. So yeah, um, it's back to that drum beat or heartbeat. That's just how the universe works. My friend and I were talking about this earlier today. Like, um, I used to, in the times where I was meant to rest and, um, you know, rejuvenate, I used to have a lot of anxiety because I felt like I should be taking action. But that's just not the way the universe works. You, you take action and then you pause and then action, pause. So, um, yeah, it's just a part of it. It's like your time to rest and play. So that's kind of cool. Once you start looking at it just a little bit differently, but all right, number 44, the sacrifice, it breaks down to an eight. The sacrifice means to make sacred. The sacrifice in an offering of gratitude made from the heart, a feast of love prepared for spirit. In olden days, sacrifices sometimes involved rituals in which blood was offered to the gods. For example, 
in the Bible, Yahweh preferred, preferred Abel's sacrifice of one of his lambs to Cain's offering of vegetables and fruits. In Middle America, however, Quetzalcoatl, the Lord of the Dawn, came to teach this, that spirit preferred our songs and our prayers to the blood of humans or animals. The, sac the sacrifice asks you to offer to spirit that which is most precious to you. Your offering will be sanctified and returned tenfold. You will be elevated to the altar at which you have been praying and meet the divine at the table with the heavenly feast. You are a welcome guest in this banquet. That's so cool. So you've made a sacrifice to God and you earned your spot at the table. 35, the medicine wheel. This is also breaks down to an eight. So we're just seeing like abundance coming in. Woo, that sounds wonderful. Um, the medicine wheel is a sacred hoop with the four cardinal directions, well marked. It represents the cycle of life, the cycle of nature, and the circular pattern of our cosmos. It has been used for millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to the village. Its directions symbolize the, the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom. To manifest clear blue skies in your life, it is important to take a look at certain aspects of your being. Enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to events from the past. Continue to the west and notice which relationships are toxic and drain your energy. Step into the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and show it? End in the east direction, visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life. It is up to you how much time you spend in each direction, minutes, days, or months. But when you are done, make sure to step outside the wheel and contemplate your journey. I feel like you've done all of the directions of the medicine wheel. And you're at a pause. And you're meant to rest and contemplate your journey. That's good. Let's see. 26. The hummingbird. I've been seeing a lot of these lately. Too. Despite being so little, hummingbirds are great journeyers. Migrating between North and Central or South Africa. South America to feed from the summer nectar. This gentle creature can be fiercely territorial to protect its home. Hummingbird teaches us to be gentle to ourselves and protect our personal space. Hummingbird invites you to embark on your epic quest. Bypass the dung pile of old pain and hurts. Head for the flowers and learn to trust the calling. You never or you hear ever so softly. The buzzing you feel is the sound of your hummingbird wings preparing you to say yes to your new adventure. This is not a time to linger on what has gone wrong, but to trust in the rightness of the moment and take bold action. Trust that success is assured, even if you must face tests and challenges to reach your destination. Know that all will be well because the all is in the small. <laughs> uh, the all is in the small. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Whoa, and that's an eight two eight 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 seven eight eight eight. Um, that's major abundance. That's major abundance. Wow, that's crazy. Fifty eight, the tree of life. The tree of life is a sacred symbol throughout the Americas. Its deep roots reach into the lower world, the unconscious, which, sorry, while it branches, its branches reach to the heavens, the source of destiny. 
To be whole in your life's journey, it is important to have deep roots and high branches. A tall tree with shallow roots shall fall in the first wind, but a tree with deep roots can weather any storm. To find health and balance in your life, reflect on how you dance with your actions, your thoughts, and your feelings. If you are too much in your thinking head or in a world of fantasies and daydreaming, connect more with your roots and physical body. If you are caught in a in mechanical doing and you are feeling stuck, not able to imagine a better life for yourself, open yourself to be inspired by the heavens. Let your roots and branches be aligned with your heart's longings. Finding that balance again. Okay. Let me get some tarot. And I'll um, clarify some of this. The wheel. Everything great is coming. You're fertile. You're wise. I forget all that stuff that's in this card. You got a chicken, a dog, a pot of steaming gold, it looks like. Yeah, everything great is coming to you while you sit still and you're standstill. Clarify the wheel. Seven of Cups. So it's possible that you're looking at all your options right now as you're um, taking a pause. You come up as the, um, the King of Swords. You're seeing life from a higher perspective. You are very powerful. You're backed up by this blue dragon. You might connect with dragons. And and you're you're on fire. I mean, right where you sit, the snow around you is thawing. You're from a very high viewpoint. Ten of Cups. Maybe you're feeling this, full family. A lot of love. Clarify Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Some Ace of Pentacles and Four of Wands. Okay. So the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. See, I'm taking this as you have a you have a new opportunity being handed to you to um, either be a greater part of your community or you're getting married. This is the Twin Flame card. Clarify four wands. You've overcome the devil. Total um, prosperity, like jackpot. It's the most coins you can have in the deck. That's your reward for overcoming the devil. And that's gonna <laughs> it's gonna make you invisible to your enemy enemies that sounds great a lot of money probably would help to make you invisible to your enemies wouldn't it 
In the meantime, you're healing. You're taking your rest. Tending to yourself, doing your self-love practices, and yeah. Processing everything that you've just been through, because, I mean, everything kind of just shifted, and, and there were a lot of cycles completed. And yeah, you're just kind of um, processing all that. Let's clarify sacrifice. <laughs> you sacrificed all, you gave all your, your love, all your emotion. That was your sacrifice. You gave that to God. Yup. You became the fool for God. Said, put me on a path. Put me on a pathway, I know it's gonna lead to heaven. You see that rainbow? I know you're leading me straight to heaven. Let's go. What do you want me to do? Oh, well, he wants you to start some kind of a business or some kind of a um, spiritual business. But he wants you to work on that more. You sacrificed your old self and you were reborn again. You stood your ground through a lot of um, torment from others, a lot of, a lot of chaos. You completed a cycle with the world here. This was, I don't know. You got you got initiated and you completed this cycle because of what you did for God, but also um, it's something you were working on for yourself anyway. But yeah, you got initiated. Sun's coming through. The sun's shining right on you. Let's clarify the medicine wheel. Right, of swords. Hmm. Looks like you moved through this, uh, the medicine wheel and you're healing like you moved through it quickly, at least quicker than you thought you would. The final bit of your healing may be, um, may have something to do with healing things from your past. Um, not things from your past, but with people that you loved from your past. Or, yeah. Or maybe that's what you already went through. Oh, I get it. <laughs> yep. The sun. Got another initiated. Like, this reminds me. This reminds me of Ra. This reminds me of Ra. Anyways, um, you're moving very quickly to somebody from your past, and this is going to, um, it could be a past soul, it could be like from a past life, or it could be somebody that you loved in this life, but you're going to it quickly, and, and, um, it's like the final bit of your healing. I think, um, the healing that comes with unconditional love is going to be like the final bit of your healing and that's what's going to bring you so much happiness so much it's the happiest card in the deck all right let's clarify hummingbird ten of swords 
you've been betrayed like more than most people could even consider <clears throat> and judgment was called yup and this is where you got your power <laughs> oh that's funny king of wands very powerful very powerful energy create very creative energy very masterful energy Lily go get the door please what is it? I don't know but go get the door I know, but I'm in the middle of something. All right. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Shut my door, Lily, please. What? Shut my door. Thank you. Page of Pentacles and Strength. So, yeah. You called judgment. You gained your power there. Your strength. And um, you set off on new um, practical adventures. Alright, let's... Like, like spiritually... Spiritually minded businesses. Clarify Tree of Life. Ace of Wands. So this... I think this has to do with an inheritance. Because just this whole card was about roots. I don't know. Something makes me think that it's about an inheritance. But it could possibly be like a... Um, the start of a new venture, like a new, a new ambition, a new passion, something you're very passionate about. The Queen of um, Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very stable financially, and she is healed. She's all in green. And look, she's got this red hair. She's real, real uh, fiery personality. Very kind, very giving, very grounded, very nurturing, and very wealthy. So it could possibly be it was talking about an inheritance. Um, let me just get a couple more. Clarify that. Temperance and the Magician. Um, balance and magic. The Magician is also um, Aries. There's a lot of fire in this reading. But the Magician, um, I feel, is saying that <clears throat> what you intend and what you put out there, you are going to be able to get it because you're, you're balanced and the universe trusts you to make the right decisions for the collective because you've literally proven yourself to be a sweet soul and trustworthy let me just grab a couple of these cards I made for you real quick shoot this is getting long that's right I already shuffled these all right let's see what we find You're a natural born hero. 
crystalline structures are forming within you. You don't need to prepare for the worst. It's not going to happen. Your ex is doing black magic on you. Being in nature will help you connect. One, two, four. Grateful acceptance and adaptability ensures success. You might be seeing that number, one, two, four. You shine bright with grace and brilliance. 777, seven, seven, you are receiving downloads. You're doing a great job loving yourself. Someone who threw you in the trash is dumpster diving. <laughs> a love affair is coming in quickly. Your discernment is your sharpest weapon. Might be a Virgo around, involved somehow. Um, the truth is about to come out. Creative energy is flowing. Someone wants to know how you know their secrets. Intuition. They don't want you to be better. Sorry. They don't want to be better. Don't waste your time. 333 um, could be a number synchronicity for you. You, you are your guide in creative endeavors. One, two, two, two. Remain positive and everything you are working toward will happen. And then blank card. It's a blank slate. It can be any way you want it. You're deemed worthy. All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it, Pisces Collective. Have a wonderful day.